This DVD provides women with all the information they need that they can then watch and consider from the comfort of their own homes. It seems the Sunsafe message is getting through to more young women aged under 25 than men who still think they and others look healthier with a tan. Last night, police recovered the body of 12-year-old Amanda Johnston but waited until the water subsided this morning to find her 8-year-old sister Jasmine. Officers also recovered the ute the girls and a family friend had been travelling in. The driver had taken a shortcut, rounding a bend near Bigenden and plunging into raging floodwaters. He survived but couldn't save the girls. Back in their hometown of Mundubra, news of the accident spread quickly. It's pretty sad to find out about it. One of our friends rang us to let us know and yeah, it was real sad. Friends say the girls were popular, always happy and very friendly. And while the family only recently moved to the area, locals are feeling their loss. A bit of a shock. Mm, I mean, it's a horrific thing to happen. While the water level has dropped today, the road is still a death trap and with more rain forecast, police are urging drivers to be vigilant. In country areas you see brown water, you see water across the road. When in doubt, don't even attempt it. Prayers will be said at school tomorrow and counsellors called in to help those students struggling to cope with the tragedy. It's going to be very difficult for them. I mean, some of them are very close friends with Amanda and Jasmine. Christina Harrison, 7 News. Cheryl Filipich knows how hard it is to watch a loved one with Alzheimer's. Both her mother and grandmother died from the disease. Oh, it's awful. Like, it's worse than death because it's a slow, painful illness. And you do all the grieving before they die because you see them gradually losing all of their facilities and you see their personality changing. Nearly 250,000 Australians have dementia. By 2050, there'll be more than one million. In my opinion, they might be well be an underestimate given the other risk factors that we know about, overweight, other diseases that contribute, um, are increasing at their own rates. A team of scientists in Queensland and Europe has found two genes that increase the risk. They were pinpointed in a study of 14,000 DNA samples. The genes are involved in removing a build-up of proteins from the brain. It's the excess that causes lesions and affects the brain's capacity to function normally. If we can enhance the good side of removing the, the right amount of these proteins at the right time, that might actually lead to a, a cure. It's welcome news, especially for those more likely to develop the disease. I'd hate to think that my daughter would have to go through the same things that my mother and I've gone through. Scientists are beginning to test drugs that fight the unwanted effects of the genes. A cure might be a long way off, but there are simple things everyone can do in the meantime to avoid developing the disease, including regular exercise and adopting a healthy diet. The activity of their brain is really important. Mental stimulation, both socially at work, is increasingly important. We must maintain the blood flow to our brain. The race is now on to find all the genes responsible. Christina Harrison, ABC News. The properties targeted have been under surveillance by police and the Queensland Crime Commission for six months. In excess of $2.7 million worth of assets have been restrained under the proceeds of crime legislation. Among those assets, this luxury home in suburban Carindale, which police allege was paid for with drug money. Cars, including a high-performance Nissan Skyline, were loaded onto tow trucks and impounded. Inside, officers hunted for evidence of illicit drugs and drug dealing, seizing documents and other undisclosed items. The drugs involved in this operation have been cocaine, heroin, uh, amphetamine and cannabis. Police also swooped on a less glamorous home in nearby Carina. Residents claim it's long been a hive of suspicious activity. Yeah, there's always a lot of cars, different sports cars and stuff over the years going through there. A man was arrested and taken to an aquarium business back in Carindale, where a police dog searched for traces of illicit drugs. The raids are part of a national operation conducted over the last 15 months. Police say in Brisbane at least there'll be a significant impact on drug supply. Seven men, some of whom are related, will face court on 12 drug-related charges, including trafficking. This syndicate that's been uh, broken today is basically probably the largest heroin suppliers on the south side of Brisbane. Others allegedly involved in the syndicate were arrested interstate. Christina Harrison, 7 News. It's Christmas Day and you've probably eaten too much. You may have had a few drinks and generally feel pretty worn out. So why don't you do something good for your body and visit a place like Fountainhead for some serious R&R. &R. How's that feeling? Oh, really good. 
Fountainhead Organic Health Spa is located in the tranquil Sunshine Coast hinterland on a property that was once an avocado farm. Wayne, why do people come to Fountainhead? Christina, it might be as simple as uh, coming overnight, just have a break from a busy routine, or if they have a serious health issue, they might come for 10 days or even longer. Wayne's decision to open a health retreat was inspired by his mother's amazing recovery from cancer. Doctors gave her three years to live, Wayne believes natural medicine prolonged her life by a decade. To lead a long and stress-free life, exercise and a healthy appetite are important. Everything growing in this colourful garden is edible. We don't serve any wheat, um, very minimal dairy, gluten-free where we can. Um, the big thing's organic, nothing processed. Hayley once worked alongside celebrity British chef Jamie Oliver, who intensified her love of food and cooking. Wayne, what type of treatments do you offer for someone who wants a bit of R&R? &R? We have a product called an indulgence package where they come out of a massage, reflexology and a facial. That all takes about three hours and they finish with an organic lunch. The result? Fewer stress lines, more energy and a positive outlook. Spontaneous combustion sparked this fireball at a Yarraman timber mill, 1,000 tonnes of offcuts fueling the flames. It took hours to contain the blaze, but it's expected to smoulder for weeks. This was a familiar sight across the Lockyer Valley and Darling Downs last night. Residents dragging out garden hoses to help fire crews stop flames from endangering their homes. But not everyone was lucky. At Crow's Nest, north of Toowoomba, fire ripped through hundreds of hectares of tinder dry country, destroying six homes and sheds full of machinery. The fire started at the local timber mill late yesterday. Yeah, very big wind and pretty hot too. Three of the burnt out houses had no fire break to protect them. With their homes still smouldering, devastated owners returned to sift through the charred remains this morning, desperate to salvage something. Some residents evacuated yesterday didn't know whether they even had homes to go back to. Just have to wait, you know, it's got to be philosophical and there's nothing much we can do. How close did it get to your place? Right up. But it's fine. And so are the geese. Fire crews were here all night battling the blaze. Resources were so stretched they had to call for backup from around the district. Fires flared up again at lunchtime, forcing further evacuations. Meanwhile, at Helladon, where one home was destroyed, smoke still blanketed the area today and crews were keeping a close watch on spot fires. And in Brisbane southwest this afternoon, residents had to fend for themselves as flames climbed sound barriers, threatening their homes. Firefighters arrived just in time. Christina Harrison, 7 News.